Now, Chairman of the Presidential Task Force PTF on COVID-19, Boss Mustafa, has apologized over violations that took place during the burial of the late Chief of Staff to the President, Abakiari, in Abuja on Saturday. Mustafa, who is also the Secretary to the Government of the Federation at the PTF daily briefing on COVID-19 on Monday in Abuja, recognized regrettably the unintentional violation of the principles and protocols that form the core of his messaging to Nigerians at the funeral of the late chief of staff. He added that lessons have been learned and appropriate measures have been taken to close all gaps. And joining us to take a look at this is Peter Igbedion, who is himself a security uh, expert. Good afternoon, Mr. Igbedion. And good to have you. Can you afternoon. hear me? All right, great. It's good to have you. Uh, now, some say... Oh, yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Some say the apology by Boss Mustafa is coming late and only after the outrage. They particularly worry about his comment that the violation was unintentional, coming from someone who is heading a task force to punish the virus. What's your take? Um, yes, mistakes can be made, but it brings to mind the, the metaphor, the proverb called medicine after death, literally. Um, there is no way they should have allowed a burial of that nature happen without the NCDC being the ones uh, literally to, not, not to officiate per se, but to handle almost all of those things. And the prescribed protocol for dealing with those cases should have been followed to the letter. I mean, even, pretty, even before the lockdown became the force across many states, there was a protocol for social distancing. And it was evident that that was not going to be followed. Once the, once the numbers began to reach 5, 10, 20, they should have taken immediate measures to prevent what we saw happen. Okay. And it's just sad that this apology is, as I said, medicine after death. All right. Uh, recently, you recall that uh, a Nollywood actress got a fine and, you know, community service for violating uh, the social gathering rule. In your opinion, uh, should there be punishment? You know, like they say, what is good for uh, the good goose is good for the gander, wouldn't you say? I, I mean, I, I agree absolutely. Um, but again, the, the punishments, to what measure, it would have been ideal in, in normal circumstances for, for the PTF members to, um, to either resign or, I mean, just, I mean, it, it, typically someone who takes responsibility for these issues should have stepped down. And those in charge as well should have stepped down, even those at the state level or the other city, city council level in Abuja and then the federal level as well too. Um, so there should, be some, there should be some punitive action carried out. But I doubt that that will happen because, as you know, we are facing an emergency situation. We are, we're practically in a state of emergency. So even if you step, this guy step down now, it's going to take a lot of work to get replacements for them, to bring them up to speed to the level that we are handling the, the pandemic. Before I let you go, do you believe lessons have been learned, you know, and appropriate uh, measures uh, be taken going forward? Well, um, I mean, across board, not just at federal level, but even down to um, we, the citizens, lessons have been learned. The question is, will they apply these lessons um, going by the, the antecedents of our compatriots? We doubt that that will happen. Um, I, I mean, I'm getting up on... Um, Hourly reports of how people are flouting the lockdown um, is, uh, information or directives across the nation, not just only Lagos or Abuja, but other places as well. In fact, literally a stone threw away from me. Uh, construction is going on that shouldn't be going on, even though there's a state government rule to the effect that all building construction should have stopped. But you see, it's going to take a lot of work to, to really um, get people to understand the nature of the threats we're facing and to apply the lessons that have been learned, not just from the stairs, um, the later um, Kiari's funeral, but some of the things that we're facing as a nation as well. Mm. Security expert Peter Egbedion, thank you very much, and please do stay safe. Thank you, I will, you too.